For something like this, we mostly just need to know that the mean is code for the average. And this is a formula that you need to memorize. It is not given to you. Uh, the way that I think about the average is it is the sum of all the numbers over the number of numbers. So add up everything in the set and then divide by however many numbers there were in the set. So I just use my standard calculator for this. Let's start by adding all of these up. So normal calculator, 6 plus 10 plus 13 plus 2 plus 15 plus 22 plus 10 plus 4 plus 4 plus 4 is 90. And then how many numbers does it say? No, it doesn't say, but we can just count them, right? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I don't even need to put that in my calculator. 90 divided by 10 is 9. And you can kind of look at this and, and hopefully see if your answer is in the ballpark. It's hard with the average sometimes to do it, but I can look at this and be like, okay, we've got some numbers higher than nines, a lot of numbers lower than nines, so nine feels right. But this is definitely a question where I would, I would do it again. Just, it doesn't take long, and it's definitely possible with your calculator, whether you're using this one, you're using the Desmos calculator that's built in, it's definitely possible that you just mistyped something and added the numbers incorrectly. So just do it again, right? Six plus 10 plus 13 plus two plus 15 plus 22 plus 10 plus four plus four plus four is still 90. Right, that took me another 10, 20 seconds tops. So it's a way to confirm, even with a calculator, it's possible to make careless mistakes because you are still the, uh, the, the fallible person entering things into the machine. It only is as good as you are, so you have to make sure. And with averages, it's definitely easy when there's lots of numbers to enter something incorrectly. So just double check, it doesn't take long, and it's worth saving those points.